had a wonderful week of studying the letter A. Today is our final activity focusing on the, le the letter A. So we are going to make our first poster for our very own alphabet wall to have at home. And we're going to make a letter A poster. Please have your grown up sit with you to listen to the materials you will need today. I have one eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of white copy paper. If you don't have white paper and you have another color, even if it has lines on it, that's okay. If you don't have any paper available, you can have your grown up to cut a paper bag and you use the plain side of the bag for this activity. I also have a red sheet of construction paper. 
If you don't have red construction paper, you can take a white piece of paper and color it red because red is our color of the week. Or you could do the same with the paper bag that you've cut. Cut another piece that's equal in size and color it red. So first off, we're going to have to look at all of our materials. We've talked about the paper. We also need glitter if we're going to do an accelerated activity. So you have to ask your grown up if you can use glitter. If they say no, it's okay. You could use cereal or some other items that you may have that you could apply to your board to decorate it, such as maybe macaroni or beans or something of that nature. It does not have to be glitter. I have my two markers, a red marker and a black marker. I need these to put the dots on the paper and to draw the letter. But remember, you can also use a black crayon, a black color pencil, a red crayon, or a red color pencil. It does not have to be a marker. Okay, I also have pourable glue. So we need glue that we can pour. But we also need glue sticks. So you're going to need one glue stick, pourable glue, glitter, your markers, your paper, and you're going to need crayons. We need a red crayon, a green crayon, and a brown crayon. And I just grabbed this little handy bowl because I like to put all of my supplies in one little container to bring them to the table. It kind of keeps things a little neat. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your glue stick if you're allowed to use glue. If you're not, please ask your grown up to use the glue for you. And we're going to put glue around the edges of our white paper. Okay, when we're done, it's important to put the cap back on the glue so our glue doesn't dry out. So we're gonna take the white paper and we're going to put it on top of the red paper, just like that, and just press it down and you have glue already underneath the white paper. So now you've created a poster board. Then we're going to take our black marker, and this is grown-up's work, so ask your grown-up to draw the dots for you to create the letter A. Remember, we're focusing on the letter A. And what sound does the letter A make? A, 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 the letter A. Okay. We're not going to make an A as big as the A's that we made on the previous days because this is a poster for our alphabet wall and we're going to have to draw a picture on our poster. So we're going to make our letter A a little bit smaller. So I'll start like halfway the page with my first dot and then I'll go up to the top for my second dot and then I will go back down even with the first dot over here and then I have to put the two dots in the middle hmm looks like I'm creating the shadow of an uppercase A now I'm going to take my red marker and I'm going to connect the dots you scholars can connect the dot with your red crayon, your red color pencil, or if you're allowed to use markers, you can use your red marker. We're going to start with the dot at the bottom and connect to the second dot. And then we're going to connect the second dot to the third dot and the third dot to the fourth dot and the fourth dot to the fifth dot. Oh, I'm starting to see the shape of my A 
coming together. I see it. Okay, now we're going to connect the two dots in the middle. Okay, scholars, you're doing a good job. I see A's all over the place. Very good, very good. Okay, now I'm gonna put the top back on my marker so the marker doesn't dry out or accidentally land on my project and then I'll have a lot of extra color here. So I'm gonna take my red crayon and I'm going to draw a circle. And what we're drawing is an apple, okay? So this apple looks like a circle. And we know that apple begins with the letter A. Apple begins with the letter A. Ah, ah, ah. That's the sound that this makes. So I'm going to draw a circle here. Okay. Now I'm going to color my circle because apples, they're all colored in most of the time. And the color here is red, our color of the week. So we're gonna be really careful to color inside the lines. We wanna make sure we always stay inside the lines if we can to keep our work as neat as possible. Now, sometimes we may get outside the line, but we really try to stay inside the line as much as we possibly can. But you know, we understand sometimes accidents happen, but we just do our best. That's what we do, our very, very best. And then we're happy with the work that we've done. What about that? Okay. So here's my apple, but something's missing. This apple has a stem. So I need my brown crayon to create a stem. Do you see that? There's the brown apple and it has a stem. Now what else do apples usually have? They usually have a leaf that's green and it usually just sits off to the side of the stem, kind of on top of the apple. So there we have it. We have our apple with a stem and a leaf. Apple. Well, let's see. We're going to put this poster on our alphabet wall. So if we wanted to have an activity beyond the classroom, we would add the lowercase a. So for those scholars who are able to add the lowercase a, that is your activity beyond the classroom. So we're going to add glitter, which is our accelerated activity, if your grown-up allows you to. If your grown-up allows you to add cereal or beans or macaroni, that's totally fine too. Some people, I see they're going to be using leaves that they've gathered from outside in front of their house or in the backyard. So what do we do? We take our glue and we go around the edge of the white paper with the pourable glue. So we're going to try to go all the way around, if we can, with our glue. And some scholars are using this type of glue, and some may not be using this type of glue as of yet. So if you're not, then you have to ask your grown-up, and this is an opportunity for your grown-up to help you. So once you add the glue, all the way around the edge of the white paper. Remember, this is an accelerated part of the activity. You're doing something beyond the basic activity. Then you can take your glitter and shake some on top of the glue. Or if you're using cereal, you can take cereal and put it around your photo that you have created here, your poster. 
Okay, so you would shake this and shake and shake and shake. So this is what your project would look like when you're done. This is your letter A poster. This is accelerated and your beyond the classroom activity is going to be to add the lowercase a. And then you would post this on your wall, in your house or in your room. And we're going to create one letter per week, A through Z, for your alphabet wall. So let's remember the letter A. Can you say it with me? One, two, three. A. And what sound does it make? One, two, three. A. 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 Great job, scholars. Great job. Give yourselves a hand.
No! What about the fire chief's jacket? Yes! Very good, very good, very good! What about the purple popsicles? No! The red fire truck? The car!